is going on everyone? Phil here. Welcome to the Week in Preview. Today is Sunday, August 13th, 2017. Ladies and gentlemen, it's finally here. Finally. I know it's been months. We've been waiting patiently. We've been uh, working towards this, uh, you know, in a dedicated manner. And after a summer of a very major lack of new releases, finally, ladies and gentlemen, this week, we got them. After all the waiting, and I know people have been sad because there's, so, there's certain people who like me, me and my stuff, but they prefer when I play new games. They like it if I'm playing a brand new hot release on release day or release week and they get to see me react to the new game that all, everyone else is, you know, playing as well. It's a hot popular game. They like seeing that. And let's face it, I mean, since June, really, I mean, we're talking early June was really the release of the last major game um, that was like a hot new release that you could see me cover at launch day. It's been... A little bit of trickle of releases here and there, but nothing major. You know, you're talking about games like Dead by Daylight that had already been out on PC already. Or games like Tacoma that really weren't that good and were incredibly short. Um, really, there hasn't been a big high-profile new release in months. So I could definitely understand if you're one of those people who maybe likes to see me watch the new stuff and you just took the summer off because you weren't interested in watching me do stuff like Red Dead Redemption or Crash Bandicoot or Dark Souls 2. <clears throat> you wanted to see the hot brand new releases. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this week... The hardcore gaming season of 2017 begins, as I like to call it, the time of the year when tons of constant new gaming releases are being released on a weekly basis. Now, this year, it's even earlier than usual, because typically, the hardcore gaming season doesn't actually start until either, like, the last week of August or early September. Typically, around that period of time, we get major releases that start coming out nonstop, week after week after week. This year, it starts mid-August, which is earlier than ever, all right? So, this week, I get the feeling. No matter what kind of a viewer you are, no matter if, what kind of game you like, I think you're going to like this week, alright? Here's why. There's going to be two brand new games I'm covering. The very first midnight release stream that I'm doing for the whole hardcore gaming season starts this week. And I'm doing other stuff that you have wanted to see me continue to do, alright? So, <clears throat> tomorrow Monday, the conclusion of Siren Blood Curse, which I've been playing all weekend. It was the game that I played to kill time. I'm going to conclude it tomorrow. In fact, I'm already on the second half of Chapter 11, and the game only has 12 chapters, although from what I'm going to understand, these last three segments that I'm going to be playing are each pretty difficult and can take upwards of almost 45 minutes to an hour to beat if you fail at them a lot. So tomorrow's gameplay stream, main stream, could be a quick one that I, it finishes in two hours. It could be a long one that the whole stream's filled because I keep failing at these very challenging final stages, all right? We'll see. We'll play it by ear. We'll see what happens. So that's first stream tomorrow. Normally... I would do a second stream of gameplay starting at 7 p.m. That's not happening tomorrow. And you may say, why? Why isn't Phil doing a second stream? Well, because tomorrow, Monday, is the nighttime, if you're talking midnight, release of two new games. The two new games for this week are Agents of Mayhem, the new game from the makers of the Saints Row franchise, Deep Silver, and Sonic Mania, the throwback retro style 2D side-scrolling new Sonic game starring Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles that's coming out for modern consoles. Now, you might say, but... Didn't, wasn't there already a Sonic 4? Yes and no, there was. But what this is is basically a full-fledged retro game, even with the 2D pixely style graphics of the classic Sonic. It really is like going back... Think Mega Man uh, 9 and 10, how they were newer games they were made in the old engine. It's kind of the same deal here, okay? So, I've decided... I had a choice. I was like, hmm, there's two games coming out. And I could do, you know, kind of a late-night first time stream for either one. I wonder which one I'll do. And I asked for some interest from my audience or whatever. And ultimately, here's what I came up with. I think that I'm at 9 p.m. Pacific time, tomorrow, Monday the 14th, I'm going to be playing Sonic Mania for around two hours on stream. A two-hour premiere stream for a retro classic game sounds fun to me. <clears throat> now, some people may be like, well, why did you decide, decide on Sonic Mania over Agents of Mayhem? Well, because... Sonic Mania is a retro game. It's a game that you can play in shorter spurts, shorter amounts of time, and not have to worry about, oh no, I'm in the middle of a big narrative thing, or oh, I didn't feel like enough. You know, these retro games, more than likely in two hours, I'm gonna end up beating a ton of stages in it. These aren't insanely long, drawn-out games, you know what I mean? Um, on the contrary, if I play Agents of Mayhem for only two hours, maybe I'll just have gotten past the intro, and I'll feel like, man, I want to play more, but now that's it, you know? Because I'm not gonna go crazy late, I'm not gonna go 24-hour overnight stream, I'm just gonna play for a couple hours, so that way... I can get some rest, and I can we come back full force on Tuesday for two more gameplay streams. It'll be Agents of Mayhem on the earlier stream at 12.30 p.m. Pacific Time, and then at night, 7.30 p.m., two more hours of Sonic Mania on stream. And we'll continue with that all week until I start to finish up the game. So it'll be Agents of Mayhem and Sonic Mania, you know, boom, 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 for the course of the week. Now... Also, later this week, once I do wrap up one or more of these games, all right, I am going to be playing Danganronpa 2. As you know, I'm now in, about to start Chapter 6, the final chapter of the game, and people have been saying probably maybe uh, three more sessions, maybe four. It all depends on <clears throat> the length of the sessions. 
I guess people are saying the final chapter is anywhere from five to eight hours long. So I could beat it, if I get through it real quick, I could beat it in two, three sessions, but it may take a little longer depending. Um, so we'll see, all right? But that's going to be later in the week as well. And at this, this coming weekend, I've been doing this as a pattern, and it seems to have worked. All right, people seem to like it. Um, I'm probably going to be doing a, a session of Ultra Street Fighter 2 sometime during the week, whether it's uh, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday is up in the air right now, and allow me to explain. Because this week, my schedule is a little different. As you guys know, typically what I do is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I usually do double sessions, right? Double streams, double sessions. The exception would be if I finish a game and I want to review it, then I'll take a night to review it or whatever, right? Um, and then the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, have been the days where I only do one streaming session. Because at night, I usually have errands to run. I got to do the weekend preview like I'm doing tonight, etc. This week, the schedule shifts a little bit because I need to get my hair cut. As you can see, my hair is getting super long in the back. It's getting all messy because it's too long. Um... And sadly, and this is a true story, my hairdresser, who used to be at a hair salon across the street from me, moved to a different location here in the state of Washington that's about a half an hour away. So I can no longer just walk across the street and get my hair cut and come back. It's going to be like a, I have to take time out to do it. Um, so that's going to be Friday night. I made the appointment for Friday night. And what I'm also going to do is actually after I get my hair cut, I'm going to go grocery shopping and get all that done that night. Um, so this week, it's going to basically be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all double streams. Friday, whatever I'm doing that day, will only be one stream, okay? And then Saturday will probably be a double stream, or a stream and then a game review, depending on what games I finished up by the weekend. And then Sunday will only be one stream again, and then Monday will be a double stream, okay? Now, I don't know how long these games are. The Saints Row games, at least the past couple of them, like 2, 3, and 4, typically were anywhere from 12 to 20 hours long, depending on how much content you did. You know, you can just skip all the side content and beat it quick, or if you do the side content takes a little bit longer. Ages of Mayhem is a game that's a little bit different, you know, it doesn't seem like it's gonna be 100% the same as Saints Row, it has a definitive story and everything that's not just comedy, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure how long it's gonna take me to be Agents of Mayhem, I don't know how many stages Sonic Mania will have, okay, <clears throat> so I can't, like, say 100%, this is when I'm finishing the game and this is when I'm reviewing it or whatever, but I do hope to, when I finish Sonic Mania and Agents of Mayhem, make full reviews for those games and put them up on KO Gaming, and I know you might be saying, oh fuck, you haven't uploaded a video there in like three months, you're right. Uh, but now with the new releases, now's the time for me to start doing game reviews again, okay? Now, I'm going to be real with everyone. If I start taking time to do these full-fledged game reviews again, and all of a sudden I see stream attendance and stream revenue is plummeting because I'm not streaming enough, and no one's really watching the reviews on KO Gaming, then I may switch it up and I may stop doing these kind of reviews that I've been doing on KO Gaming for a year and a half. I may go back to my old-style reviews, which is just me sitting here with the game in my hand and I talk about the game, and that's it. Because those take, what, 30 minutes to film? Versus the other kind of reviews take, you know, 30 minutes to, to film the, just the, the dialogue, the, the voiceovers, if not longer, plus editing takes four or five hours with everything that comes into it. So you're talking, you know, multiple nighttime sessions to put out a review if no one's watching it. It's not going to be worth the time to do it, okay? Um, so we'll see. Let's play it by ear. Let's say this week I'm going to play the hell out of these new games. When I beat them, I'll start reviewing them. Let's see what happens. If they get attention on KO Gaming, great. If not, and all of a sudden I notice now the streams are falling off and I'm not making a lot of money on streams anymore because I'm not streaming enough because I took the time out to not do the nighttime streams to do these reviews, I may not do that. Maybe I'll just do quick off, one-off reviews real quick and get back to streaming other stuff, okay? The bottom line is I need to do what's right for, the, for me to pay my bills and to be able to keep doing this. That's the most important thing is to enjoy the games while I'm playing them and to be able to keep doing this. All right, I know there's people, oh my god, I love Phil's edited style review. Listen, I'm sorry, that's YouTube. That's all on YouTube for what happened this year with the ad revenue falling through or whatever. I need to do what I need to do to pay my bills. It's YouTube's fault, not mine, that I had to do these crazy changes. So if it means I have to drop reviews to do constant streaming, then it means that, all right? For now, I don't know. I want, I'm curious to see now. I'm coming back with new reviews for the hardcore gaming season, these new games. Will people actually go to KO Gaming and watch these reviews, or are they not worth my time and I should just do the old style reviews like I used to? I don't know, but we're going to find out, okay? So, in recap. The conclusion of Silent Blood Curse... Silent Blood Curse. Let's try that again. The conclusion of Siren Blood Curse on Monday. A special 9 p.m. Pacific, midnight Eastern time premiere stream of Sonic Mania on Monday. On Tuesday will be Agents of Mayhem and Sonic Mania. Wednesday, Thursday also will be that until we see when, if and when I start wrapping up these games and concluding them. In which case I'll start working in reviews and or Danganronpa 2. Alright. This week, Friday will be the day when I only do one gameplay stream. Because Friday night I have to go get a haircut and do my errands. But then I'll be back Saturday with a double session of work. Um, and... This week as well, which I forgot to mention, there should be a new DSP Tries It. I have a, a thing in mind that I want to try for DSP Tries It this week. As long as the local place has it, I'm going to be doing that. So there should be a new DSP Tries It this coming weekend over on the King of Hate Vlogs as well. All right? Little preview for next week. Uncharted, um, The Lost Legacy, I believe it's called. The standalone expansion. Um... <clears throat> Ask the King is going to be coming in that, that week, not this week, coming, but the week after. And the Call of Duty World War II beta, plus I believe there's supposed to be an episodic game that's releasing then as well. I'm not 100%. I think one of the episodic games like Guardians of the Galaxy or something is all supposed to be coming out. So we'll see, and maybe, maybe that'll be the time when I conclude Danganronpa 2, since it seems like I'll have a little bit of extra time. But we'll, we'll see, alright? Alright, that's it for the week in preview, folks. I hope you enjoyed it. One final thing. 
July patrons, as of tonight, if you messaged me back on Patreon.com, the print PM that I sent you last week, I have now sent your information to my webmaster. Within the next couple of days, you should have your form accounts upgraded. So if you need to start nominating and voting on game, well, it's nominating now. We'll be voting on games for the next downtime playthrough, the next patron's choice. Do it now. Nominate now. FYI, for those who are wondering, gee, I wonder what kind of games people were nominating for patron's choice this time since Phil ruled out long JRPGs and the like. Games such as Jack 3, Ratchet and Clank, I think it's a crack in time. Um... <clears throat> Mario, um, Super Mario, uh, Sunshine, one of the Mario games I've never played before, um, and a few, a Manhunt, I believe, was nominated by a bunch of people, um, god, there's a few, there's quite a few that have a good amount of nominations that I saw there, and they're not, those are the ones that come to mind, but I'm not 100%, so those are kind of the games that are being considered for the next downtime playthrough. If you were a $5 patron of mine in the month of July, and you have not nominated a game yet, you still have time. Head over to the KingHate.com forums. The thread's there in the patrons-only section. Nominate, 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 because within another week or two, I'm going to flip that into a poll so people can start voting. So hopefully by, like, mid-September, we have the next game, and that way I can mix it in with mid-September stuff. All right? Fair enough? All right, that's it, folks. Uh, a good one. A good week in preview, not a long one. But finally, new games. The Hardcore Gaming Season is here. Multiple new releases. The first midnight release coverage of the Hardcore Gaming Season of 2017. Tons of fun stuff this week. I hope to see you live on the streams. If you can't be there, I hope to see you on demand on YouTube. Thank you, everyone, for a great summer and for being patient. It is now finally here. The games are here, and I'm ready to play them. I hope you're ready to watch me. All right? That's it, everyone. Thanks. Have a good night. And without the following, or without the following, without further ado, the following, uh, thank you. Boy, I am losing track of my fucking train of thought. Thank you to the following patrons from the month of July who made this upcoming patron's choice playthrough possible. Peace out. See you tomorrow for new stuff.